What's going on guys? It's Kelly and Blue Gabe and I just got to Boston, Massachusetts. Actually, we're not in Boston yet. We're in Cape Cod and we're checking out the seals. This is Gabe's first time ever seeing a seal. We're gonna try to get some drone footage of them for you guys. Uh, it's gonna be insane. These seals are hilarious. So we're driving past them in the boat and they're just turning their little heads and looking at you. Trying to scope out a great white right now, but super low tide. So I don't know if we'll be able to see one. Oh my gosh, I can barely talk because my lips are so cold. It's super rough offshore. So Gabe's gonna make a clamming video. Look at the size of this clam. So we're gonna go out, catch a bunch of clams and uh, probably cook them on the beach. Later, we're gonna try to catch some squid. So we're gonna do catch and cook squid here in Cape Cod and catch some clams. I can't, this thing's like hard to... Did you see his oh, little I saw him, I saw him. Now, ah! be, be careful that it will cut your finger when you grab ah! Yeah. I broke a shell. It's okay. Ah! Dang, he's fast. The clam got the best of me. <laughs> they sucked out into the sand so fast. Go. Yeah, I... You oh, see wait. that one's neck go down yeah. there? There's one right there. So dig in front of him. Do again in front of him. Now, now pull it across his neck. He should be right there. Now dig with your hand lightly. You can move your feet up. You don't have to keep your feet in one spot. <laughs> I got him! You got him! I got him! Delicious. You like clams? I've only had clam chowder, so... I don't know. These are like Good all... thing Blue Gavi caught you a lobster, but I couldn't keep mine. Mr. Matt had to bring them in. Look at their little... I like the Mr. Matt. That sounds like respectful. Right, Mr. that Matt. looks sort of like... like Yep. It's real cold out. All right, guys, we are done clamming. Right now, we're at some park here in Cape Cod. Absolutely gorgeous view. I'll show you that in a minute. Hey, but right now, right what? here, real quick, real quick. See y'all. Oh my gosh. But it looks like it's a big viewing area for seals, for great whites, for birds, for pretty much anything you can see. Check out this view. It is absolutely beautiful. Cape Cod is honestly incredible. So amazing. So we finished up with clamming and now we're headed to P-Town and we're gonna go try to catch some squid. Oh. Did you what do you got? I got a big squid. I got a big one. Did you see him squirt water at the surface? <laughs> That's insane. Oh my gosh, this is so exciting. This is probably one of the most exciting things I've ever done. Talking about exciting things, Blue Gabe, what'd you do today? <laughs> Dove with great whites and caught Maine lobster. Yep. So check this out. This is like probably five times bigger than the first one I caught. We're getting into the big schools of them. And literally when I hooked this one, I saw probably about 20 more at the surface. So two squids to zero, blue game. Well, I'm sort of multitasking. Oh, excuses. It's actually fun to watch a new fish. <laughs> Change color. Look how, oh my gosh. I wonder if he'll do it. Sometimes they'll, look. When I rub my finger, I don't know if you could see it, but it gets dark. Those little spots are changing color. Oh my God, they're insane. And then his little tentacles, look. Ow, he bit me. He just bit me. <laughs> oh, you little stinker. Oh, he got me. Ooh, you're bleeding. Dang, that hurt. I'm gonna eat you for that. It's a little baby one. How come you're out fishing me three squids to one? Three squids, you got one? Oh no, to zero, <laughs> crap, my bad. Three squids to zero. This one is a little guy. And what I have here is two squid jigs that my friend Anthony hooked me up with. He's the guy who went bluefin tuna fishing last time I was here in Boston. And we're actually gonna go again this week. Hopefully I'll land my bluefin tuna. It's all weather pending. Of course, the one week we get here, the weather is freezing. It's windy offshore. It's like blowing 30. So, you know, we'll play by ear. But until then, we're gonna do some main, main lobster videos. We're gonna be doing squid videos, clamming videos, all sorts of fun stuff. 
And I also want to give a shout out to this old salty rod that Blue Gabe hooked me up with. Rod and reel, giving it a go around. I've never used them before, but so far it looks like they're working pretty good. Mm. <laughs> you didn't even get, why don't you tell your fans what happened with you and not getting in the water today? Oh, all right, so, oh, this thing is squirting. Okay, so listen, <laughs> it was really cold out here. As you know, I'm a Florida native. I'm originally from Florida. I get cold so freaking easy. It can be 71 degrees out and I need a jacket. I was out of it. Listen, we drove 24 hours straight to Boston. I was tired. So he dove in, or he jumped in with a one mil wetsuit on and I don't even know how cold was the water. Cold. Cold. And it was blowing probably 15 it was freezing i had three layers on so this guy jumps in the water freezing cold great white infested they are known to come to this area there's seals everywhere which is obviously great white's main source of food and he's diving down hand catching main lobster with those big old pinchers apparently you stick your arm in the hole and you let them bite you let's you just know, show him a clip real quick we will <laughs> Holy honker! That's a nice one, huh? Woo! Ten commandments. Y'all already know Anthony. Is this your first? Oh, look at the colors. This is the first one I got tonight. Oh my gosh. That's so sick. Mine haven't turned that red. Mine just went like completely oh, yeah. clear. You got one? Did you lose yep. it again? Oh, we got one. You got one. Matt, finally, it's about well, we time. Got twins. This is a different type of squid, squid than his. This is the rare, uh, smaller squid. Is this the Cape Cod squid? This is the pig. Yeah. This is a pygmy squid. <laughs> the pygmy squid. In a box. It's a cute one. I know. I think mine was the smallest though. The very first one I caught. So Look. Are these all the same? Yeah. The same. Oh, I'm not 100% sure. But I mean, sure. are these all the same? Because I always thought. Look at their eyes. That is insane. They're mean too. Do you know they don't wow. actually change color? It's just the way they dilate their skin with different, uh, the pigment, oh, yeah. the way they dilate like it. They ink. blend in to look like just about anything. They're wild. Yeah. It's a horrible. I got oh, the Kraken. Oh, oh my gosh, oh. he's a squirter. Dude, that ah. thing's huge. Swing him this way. Look at that thing. This is the biggest one. Oh my god. Okay, hold Get on. him over here. I'm getting him over hey, don't here. Don't let him go. What? The biggest, my personal best squid. Whoa, look at the color change. Look at this bad boy. Holy, oh, this was the one that got away. See if he'll get my finger. Oh gosh! <laughs> Did bite you? Yeah. You already got bit by a, a main lobster. Put him right here on top of this cooler. We're gonna examine this one. He's the biggest one we've caught all night. We've actually only been here for probably like 40 minutes. He's no squirt. No, he's not. I just can't get over the, how quickly they can change their color. Oh, this is a beautiful, beautiful squid. Oh Let's God. just turn it loose. <laughs> no, they're too good. They're too, too good. We're doing a catch and cook with Cape Cod squid. We drove. 24 hours, we're gonna eat him. I'm about to take a thumbnail with this squid. Anthony pulls up a squid, same size. Let's see. Oh, no. oh these are pretty They're close. close. They're twins. They're twins. Look at that. Oh, we're eating calamari tomorrow. Yeah. <laughs> we're going to bed when we get back to the hotel. I'm setting down these squid so I can take a nice picture. I got one. Finally. Blue okay. gobby's on the board. <laughs> Who gave catches one? Careful, that weight is clanking. Look at yours, it's cute, it's cute. You know, it's no, it's no Kelly Young squid, but you know, I'll take it, I'll take it. Eek! Oh, he almost got me. Oh, oh, he's pissed. Oh, wow. They're different, they look pretty much the same. Don't try to get it to bite me. <laughs> Little squid pasta. Yeah, it's gonna be awesome. An Anthony here is an ex-chef. Oh, I, oh, you oh, know what no. else I brought you too? I brought you a... Alright you guys, so for Anthony having us up, if you check out my channel, you'll see I have a pet lobster in my tank. We named him Lucky. 
Because he's lucky he didn't end up in some garlic butter. I think. Well, we said we were going to turn him loose, but oh, then I'm God. like, then I'm like, well, Anthony hasn't had any fresh spiny lobster, so I put him in the cooler and brought him up for Anthony himself. That's a little gift, good. huh? You fatten him up good. Yeah, I fatten him up good. Nice. Lucky, <laughs> lucky ain't so lucky anymore. It is 10:54. We are loading the mini cooler with squid. Oh. This morning when the sun came up and you made that storyline on Instagram, did you think that we were going to see seals, catch clams, catch crabs, lobsters, squid? Yeah. You did? Mm-hmm. I didn't know we were going to catch lobster for a fact. I actually, yeah, I didn't know we were going to catch lobster today. That was, I wish I would have gotten the water for that, I'm not going to lie. But I was terribly cold, so, you know, sometimes you just... Yeah. Sometimes you just gotta let oh, Blue Gate be a badass for a day. I didn't want to show you up too much today. <laughs> I appreciate that. You're welcome. I had to let you shine. I will say when we got in the water looking for those clams and Matt mentioned lobsters, that was the last thing in a million years I expected us to catch, let alone actually catch a bunch of them. So huge shout out, Matt. I'm ready to go to sleep. For real? For real. 40 hours in. I'm ready to sleep now. I think so. Alright guys, I am wrapping tonight up. We had a successful night squid fishing. Killer. Oh, we got a double up. Anthony's hooked up too. You got another squid, Anthony? Let me see him. Look at that thing. Killing it out here. Awesome. So, we're going to take these squid home. I'm going to cook them up tomorrow and I think we're going to have some clams with them too. <laughs> If you would have bit my ear, I'd have felt bad. I already had a squid bite my finger earlier in the video, so check out all the squid we caught tonight. It doesn't look like a lot because they're all piled on top of each other, but we probably got at least 50 squid in there. Successful night, and turns out it's 11 o'clock, and apparently after 11, you can't fish here anymore. So we're wrapping it up, and I'll see you all in the kitchen. We're going to go ahead and cook up these squid with some fresh calamari from Cape Cod. All right, so check this out. This is a cleaned squid that we caught last night. Okay, Gabe's friend Matt showed me how to clean these squid and so now I'm gonna show you guys. It's actually very simple. So, you take your squid. This is one of the bigger squid that we caught last night. Oh, so slippery. So, it's best to do it over a sink just because they're just really slimy and gross and all their guts come out and the ink just sprays everywhere. So do it over a sink, keep the water running. I'm gonna shut the water off just because I'm filming. But you're gonna stick the knife under here. I like to just poke a little hole just to get it started. Then you're just gonna run the knife up the back. Boom, just like that. Then you're gonna butterfly it and remove all the guts. And it should just peel right out along with the head and the tentacles. Okay. I'm gonna set that in there. So now you have this. See how it's all ink and just a mess? That's why I'm doing it over a sink. Alright. So you don't need any of... From the eyes up, you don't need. So what I'm gonna do is just go ahead and cut right below the eyes. That way... This is all trash. And then you keep all of the tentacles in contact with each other. You're gonna go ahead and flip them upside down and his beak is still in there. You're just gonna pop the beak out, kind of like a blackhead. I know it's gross, but it is what it is. You had to use that for a comparison? <laughs> I did. I mean, it's that's exactly like what it's like. So there's the beak. Let's open up that beak. I wonder if I can get this like his little lips his mouth focus look at that that's what bit me last night stinker all right so we have our tentacles here and last thing for these give them a real good rinse and throw them in your bowl all right so as for the body you want to get rid of this like plastic cartilage bone that they have because obviously that is not going to taste good and then these little uh i don't know what they're called but these little like flapper things that they're on the squid 
you can eat them, but they're just really hard. So I don't really like to eat them. I'll just go ahead and I pinch them together like this, if you can see. And they're attached to the outside skin of the body of the squid. And you're just going to pull it right off and peel it. Peel it right off just like that. Eee. Boom. Look how easy that was. And like I said, you guys can eat this, but you don't have to. It's really tough and it's... This is, this is the money right here. This part of the squid. I was gonna, I was gonna say fish. I'm like this part of the fish. And you also want to go ahead and get some of this inside slime and the ink off of the body. And there you go. Look at that. So I'm gonna go ahead and after I'm done cleaning all of the squid, I'm gonna go ahead and just saute them and just make more of a healthy meal out of it. When people usually eat calamari, they eat fried calamari. So I'm gonna do a healthier version just because I personally don't eat a lot of fried food. And Matt told me an interesting thing about garlic that I had no idea. So, check this out. Two garlic cloves, right? This garlic is purely organic. Matt grows it in his backyard. And see how the garlic has roots right here? And it's like mixed in with dirt and just a bunch of organic stuff. This is organic if it has the roots. Now if you buy garlic from the store and see how the roots are cleaned off here? That means it's from China. And China they don't use animal fertilizer from what I hear. They actually use human feces to fertilize their garlic. So when the garlic from China gets transferred to the US, they have to scoop out the roots and like sanitize it. So I would probably not recommend buying garlic from stores that have no roots because that means that it was grown in Chinese people poop. Say that three times fast. Chinese people poop, Chinese people poop, Chinese... COVID garlic. We have the grill billy out here and I have a cast iron skillet on here. I went ahead and put the olive oil and the organic fresh garlic um, in there to heat up. Next, I'm gonna go ahead and toss in the squid that we caught. All right. Squid cooks pretty fast. Pretty much just like any other uh, fish or ocean species. No! The tentacle is gonna fall in the uh, in the grill. I'm gonna add a little bit of parsley. And some of that pure Irish butter, which is my favorite. I use this for everything. Now the key with squid is to not overcook it. So you wanna watch it and be pretty careful. There, come out. Last time I did this, I actually left that skin on. So when I cooked it, I uh, the skin turned really pink. So that's kind of how I was able to tell it was completely cooked. This one doesn't have that, but usually they'll become more of a white color than that like clear, foggy white color. I'd probably say maybe like two more minutes and it would be ready. All right, Gabe was over there filming his uh, lobster mac and cheese over there. So these are completely done. It did not take long at all. Maybe four minutes, maybe five. I'm just gonna go ahead and pour did all that. Did you know there's a big emu right over your shoulder? Yes, I did. Maybe they like squid. It smells good. Mm. What? Some chopsticks for eating your squid. <laughs> it adds like, like an international
flavor. Ooh, all right, good idea. We're eating squid with chopsticks. Apparently it makes it taste better. All right, so last thing, some sea salt here. Salt is important to me because I make my food pretty plain, so sea salt really brings out the flavor. And black pepper, which I forgot in the house. All right, I'm back with the black pepper. And I'm gonna squeeze a little bit of lemon over there. Whoa. Beautiful. Got some chopsticks Matt gave me. He said it's more elegant to eat with chopsticks, so that's what I'm gonna do. Mm. Really good. Nice and fresh. Literally, it's been on ice for 12 hours. So good. All right, guys, so I'm done making this squid. It is absolutely delicious butter, olive oil, some parsley, salt and pepper. That's all you really need. You can season it however you like. Um, but like I said in the beginning, I'm just really plain when I make my food. Um, a lot of people eat it fried. Uh, I just want to give a shout out to Grill Billy. These girls are freaking amazing. Blue Gabe introduced me to the grill. Shortly after that, I got one. I haven't gotten mine in the mail yet, so this is Gabe's that I'm using for now. We're in Cape Cod. This thing's awesome. It's portable. All you gotta do is bring a propane tank with you and you can cook anywhere you want tailgate you can bring on the sandbar the boat just anywhere you don't have to lug that big tank around either you can put a little tank they have an adapter for it and they also make a really cool cooler backpack have you ever had cal uh, calamari like this not like that what do you think? Mm -mm, let me see this tastes like spaghetti it's like squid spaghetti are you gonna go for the tentacles Look at that. How am I going to get it all in there? You got this. <laughs> it's so beautiful outside right now. It's perfect for grilling out. Tastes healthy, yeah? Mm hmm. Awesome, guys. So, thank you so much for I tuning in. I wasn't done in. talking yet. What? Well, I was trying to chew. Alright, fine. It doesn't even tastes like seafood or anything it almost tastes like a healthy vegetable or something it's really really good i will say that and it was super easy to catch really no money involved with it <laughs> we used the tailgate of my <laughs> truck to cook doesn't get much better super easy super healthy also yeah there's no fishy taste to squid well there shouldn't be anyway if you got a fishy taste when you eat squid something's wrong with the squid but anyways guys i'm gonna close this video out Gabe's gonna go ahead and whip up some lobster mac and cheese with the lobster that him and his friend Matt hand caught here in Cape Cod. Free diving, and let me tell you, this water was absolutely freezing. So stay tuned to that video, and I'll see you guys in the next one.